up Pisces happy new year welcome back to karma light readings I'm karma I have been sick so I apologize for the delay you guys but here we are if you're new here welcome please make sure you subscribe hit the notification bell cross watchers you are more than welcome to hang around you may need to move the energy around to fit your story if at any time you guys resonate with this reading please go ahead and hit that like button for me I would appreciate it so much all right, any other information is in the description box below. Let's go ahead and get into it, Pisces, and see what messages we have for you. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors. Thank you, Holy Spirit, thank you. Pisces. All right, you have Nehemiah, the number 16. To be sorry and God comforts. Pray about everything at all times. Do not start anything in your life without praying. Do you make yourself available to help those in need? Do you allow God to use you? God leads and uses people in different ways. No one's path is the same. Live for God to see a change. All right, so the divine is really, really calling on you here, Pisces. Uh, this may be validation or this may be um, a sign, a message for some of you to restore your spiritual life okay it looks like there's something that you need to be praying about uh, so that you can get the answers but i feel like the most High has been trying to use you in a certain situation here yeah deuteronomy remembering who the divine is not letting your emotions dictate your faith for every action there is a reaction you must continue to rededicate your life to the divine so that you can receive. What have you been receiving? Do you feel cursed or blessed? It's time to rediscover the Most High. Show up for yourself and He will match the effort. This will affect your family history with the Most High. Okay, very interesting here. Let's get one more, please, for Pisces. Number 5 and 16 are of significance. And the number 29, you have Joel, it means Yahweh is God someone may have control issues or power trips okay so you need to be aware of that person um somebody's abusing their power this abuse of power could be why you were struggling to connect with the divine somebody here may have this thought process of like well why would the most high let me go through something like this okay pay attention to signs and red flags warning that something will have grave consequences this is somebody who learns the hard way. So someone's going to experience physical suffering because it's the only way that God can get their attention. This is deep, Pisces. This is deep. Somebody here is like struggling because they feel like they weren't, maybe you weren't taught like how to handle spiritual warfare by your family. Or maybe it was kind of like, um, like it wasn't real. There's a lot of families like that. My family was one of them. Nobody, nobody even mentioned the word spiritual warfare to me growing up. So when I was actually under attack, I didn't know what to do the first time. Okay. Um, so there's something here though, where spirit is like, look, if you bring me in, I'll lead you. I'll guide you. Yeah. Privacy, separate online community and withdrawal. the number 66 and withdrawal six i would not share information with somebody here i see you kind of pulling back very very private somebody could be trying to watch you or want to know what's going on with you i feel like you're in a very pivotal situation here pisces to help change your lineage in their relationship with the divine there is no one way that God communicates with us or like leads us. And what, I, and, and what I mean by that is, you know, sometimes the problem with religion is it'll tell you one thing and people think that's the only way God talks to us or the only way God blesses us. And that's, that's not true. Everybody has a different purpose. Everybody has a different way that God will use you. And some people will see God using you and, and, and tell you that it's evil and it's not. Okay, so you've got to um, you've got to allow yourself because I really feel like God is trying to the most high your angels your guides are trying to talk to you here. There's something going on within a love a love connection or the way that you love. 
okay? The way that you receive love. Yeah, there's conflict here and fright, paranoia. Somebody feels like they're being bribed into a situation here or you're pulling back from love. Can you give me one more, please? Deuteronomy and Joel. This is about, yeah, conflict. So you're conflicted in regards to either a relationship or something that you were working on with people that you feel should have had your back. Like there's a big dis difference here. A dispute. For Pisces, please. You have gift with the number 17. Courthouse with the number 23. Yeah, decision is being made. And family room. This is in regards to family relations. Okay, somebody could be stealing something or lying about something here within a family. You're going to find something out. You could be in the living room when you find this out. But there's some type of decision that's going to be made either about living arrangements or it has to do with a family situation. And this decision is going to end up being a blessing. Okay, it is going to end up being a blessing here. I feel like there's something you're being called to do. But you're conflicted over it. All right, you have the Eight of Wands for Pisces, please. Three of Pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, see, your challenge and what they want you to focus on is the Ace of Cups. Unconditional love. And then you have the Five of Cups as the outcome. There's definitely some type of healing that has to take place in regards to a family situation, Pisces. Something that hurts or that causes a lot of sadness here. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. So in the past, you have some quick and sudden movement. You had a decision that needed to be made very swiftly here with the Two of Pentacles. For some reason, I'm getting the vibe that you were left out of this decision. Like the decision was already made. By the time you learned that a decision needed to be made, it had already been made. All right? And that may be why you're feeling a little bit off too about this situation. Everything seemed to be up in the air or you didn't have a say in this decision or this choice. But it's, whatever it is, it's not stable. Origin. Yeah, how, what, how was something created? You just had to remain calm in a situation. Like, it, like something was already made for you. But why is there sickness here in, a, in, a, in it, all with love? All that has, everything has to do with love. I think you're just waiting for something to be more stable. Leo energy, this could have happened in Leo season. Somebody's dealing with the karmic. So that's what it is. So there's still some type of car need more info hiding something. So there's still some type of karmic energy. Now, karmic energy can be anything. Anything that keeps somebody in a cycle, that keeps them in a repetitive pattern of toxic behavior that is disconnected from a divine path that allows them to play with lower vibrational energies to keep somebody. So it could be an addiction, could be alcohol, whatever you want to call it. Right? Like alcohol is fine if you don't got a problem with it. You see what I'm saying? So, I, but it's interesting because I see you just keep trying to remain calm in a situation. You just want, you just want things to be out in the open. You just want clarity and you don't want to fight. You're just looking for peace. Why is the three of pentacles here? 
could be trying to work with somebody on this situation or you're looking for some type of collaboration and effort here, Pisces. Yeah, Four of Swords, but it's not, no, nothing is being matched. Everything is paused. The Hanged Man, the Four of Swords. Somebody may have lost their job here. There was a pause on work, on work or a project here, collaboration. You're seeking some type of advice as well. Needing to meditate, needing to pull back. Something has ended, yeah. Something wasn't worth it, that's what I'm hearing. Somebody feels like it wasn't worth it, perseverance. You've gained a lot of insight, a lot of knowledge from a, from a group of people who have been, like you feel like you've been picked on or there's some type of gossip or bullying that's taking place. You, you, you at the time, I don't know if this is in your family, like you keep pushing through something with a, I do, I feel like somebody's getting abused in their family or talked to a certain way. This very, um, it's very depleting like you constantly feel like you have to jump over hurdles for th this person or these family members or whoever this is it's like it's constant conflict constant fighting but you love these people so much i feel like you're just tired of it scorpio yeah you're wanting some type of transformation to take place you're wanting something to to become better more peaceful look at that major transformation and rebirth and that's what's happening currently. Spirit is asking you to protect your energy. That's why you have this. There's somebody here who has a control problem, okay? The, I know this sound repeating cycles and patterns. I know this. Look, man, sometimes we're like, why are we going through this? And we don't realize in the moment of being pained, in the moment of being bullied, in the moment of being put down, Pisces, that you know, we can become stronger from this, that we're growing. This is where that transformation is coming from. This is how God uh, uses his power in the darkness because I feel like you have experienced something that's going to help you help others. Spirit wants you to focus on the Ace of Cups. Pisces, I feel like you have so much. I don't know why I feel like I'm going to cry. I feel like you have so much love to give. And you've been through so much pain, so much heartache. There seems to be a lot of conflict around, around you. You know, perseverance is here. And I know you don't want to hear keep going. You want to hear like, when is it going to be over? But there's something that's changing inside of you on a deep level, spiritual level, DNA level, all of that. Yeah, death. There's a massive transformation taking place in regards to love, unconditional love, how you give, how you receive. And a new beginning is coming in for you. What you thought had been had ended, somebody here may have lost a loved one. What you thought was ending is actually, it's a, it's a brand new beginning. It's opening something up for you. Yeah, Queen of Cups. You have a, a new love coming in. A commitment, higher level of commitment. What is this, please? So yeah, you can make something official here. Other people may not want you to be with this person. Goal, purpose, expectation, destination. I'm telling you, somebody's coming for you. Collaboration, there it is. The number 26 and 45 may be important. There's an enhancement coming into your life because of the work that you've done. It's going to shift your relationship or your future relationship, how you handle it, how you deal with it. It's going to, it's like, it's bringing in more love. Whoops. I know that sounds backwards right now because I feel like somebody here is really going through um, a rough time. Forgive me. Is really going through a rough time, but like where you want to be closed off. But there's like a lesson involved here. Virgo energy, yeah. Great wisdom is coming. Something's going to be revealed to you. 
Oh, there it is. So black magic is being done and it's going to be rejected. So Pisces, like I said, okay. So somebody was talking shit. Excuse my language. You know, gossip is a form of black magic, conflict, anger, argument. That's dark energy. Although dark isn't necessarily bad, right? But um, in this case, we're going to use it as explaining it as something that is, is low vibrational and evil. Okay. Uh, something that is, is, it's necessary though for growth. Black magic is never necessary for growth, but there are lessons. And unfortunately, this seems to be the lesson your soul signed up for. Somebody that you may have been working with uh, was doing something behind the scenes and it's all going to be revealed to you or it's slowly being revealed to you and it is being rejected. This, this, this conflict that you're living through or experiencing, I promise you is going to change everything for the better. I see it here, but there comes this period of grief. You've got to allow yourself to grieve over it and release it so that you can get, you see this new love behind you, these two cups, you've got to get to this. Why is the five of cups here for the outcome for Pisces? Strong Scorpio energy on the table. Yeah, seven of swords. Somebody was getting away with something. So there's a lot of heartbreak here over this deception. A lot of heartbreak over somebody not being honest. A lot of heartbreak over the lies. There's cheating. There's scamming. There's something going on with the seven of swords. And that's what's bringing you this pain. And the truth hurts. But again, I feel like spirit is telling you, get down on your knees and pray over this so that you can break out this negative energy. Protect your energy. You're dealing with spiritual warfare here. What is the five cups? Pisces. Somebody could be getting a divorce. Yeah, see? Your blessing is coming, though. Fulfillment. Well, you're going to be enlightened from this illness. Whoever was putting this energy on you, you're going to recognize how quickly they're, they're about to get sick. Somebody's very weak. This person may have gotten a disease of some sort as well. Clarify, please. Yeah, what I tell you, Judas is near. There's somebody that's trying to t steal your blessing. It's not going to work. It's definitely not going to work. regret and remorse deep sadness and you are exactly where you should be the purpose of this is for you to learn to detach from situations that are not for you you sense that something is off pisces i know you do with your spidey senses i know you do um because you're so intuitive and i think that you really want to trust this person but you have gemini energy this person could be two-faced illusions all smoke and mirrors so it's like you sense something is off and you wouldn't be wrong, but you're there for a reason. And you are strong enough to fight through this. I just feel like it's something that needs to be done with prayer because you're in the middle of spiritual, you're in the middle of a battle. I can't, I mean, spiritual warfare for real. This could be something within your family. All right, strictly sexual. This connection is passionate, but not enduring. Second chance. Does this relationship deserve a second chance? A soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you. Balance. One person is giving too much in this relationship. Children are important to this partnership. And boundaries. Firm boundaries are needed now. And then you have acceptance on the bottom. I think that's just interesting considering what we've been talking about. And it says everything happens for a reason. I know it's painful because I can see it and feel it. But I, I, I'm telling you when you go through it and when you pray through it and when you gain a stronger relationship with God, you're going to watch how all these problems start to expand outwards and you can only see them on the outer edges of your energy field. They no longer affect you. All right. 
So um, pray about everything. Keep to yourself. Don't allow yourself to be involved in this conflict. Let other people make a fool of themselves. You are being shown who is for you and who is against you. I'm sending you much love.